With QuickBooks Online Plus or Advanced, you can track the time employees and contractors work and use it to calculate project profitability and pay employees with QuickBooks Payroll. Let's go over best practices on how to set up time tracking, enter the time that your employees and contractors worked, run time reports, and then run payroll using the time you recorded. If you want to learn how to set up a project and assign income and other costs to it, check out this other video. First, you will have to set up your workers' hourly costs. Select Projects and then Employee Hourly Rate. You'll only see T4 employees on this list. You can set up contractors later. If you don't see an employee, select Add an Employee here. Or you can also set them up by selecting the Payroll and Employees tab. Select Add. If you use QuickBooks Payroll and you've already set up an employee, QuickBooks will automatically enter their hourly rate and taxes. If you use Payroll and haven't set up an employee's pay yet, we recommend you do that first before setting them up in this window. If you don't use QuickBooks Payroll, enter your hourly costs for the employee. Enter their hourly wage and any other costs you want to capture. Select Save. Set up all your employees' costs. Close this window once you are done. If you want to track the time contractors work on a project, go to Expenses and select Suppliers. Select the contractor's name and then select Edit. In the Cost Rate field, enter what the contractor charges you by the hour. If you charge your clients for the contractor's time, enter the hourly rate you bill them in the Billing Rate field. Then select Save. Now that you've set up your employees and contractors, you're ready to record their time. You can enter the time they work in QuickBooks or in QuickBooks Time. Note you may see different options on the timesheet depending on whether they are an employee or a contractor, and also whether or not you use QuickBooks Payroll. Make sure to enter the project in the Customer or Project field. After you save the time, you'll see the number of hours worked next to the project. You might not see the costs right away though. That's because, by default, QuickBooks only includes costs for employees whom you've actually paid. If you want to include costs for all time, regardless of whether or not you paid your employees or contractors for that time, select the Employee Rate drop-down and select Hourly Costs. Select a project to learn more about your time and other costs on the project. Then select Time Activity. From here, QuickBooks breaks down the time you've recorded by month. Select an arrow, then the employee. Select the next arrow to view individual time entries. You can also divide up the time in other ways, like week or service, and you can group the time by employee or service as well. You'll also see the total time, total cost, billable time, and billable amount for each grouping. When it's time to pay people for the work they've performed, the steps are different for contractors and employees. For contractors and payroll processed outside of QuickBooks, you record the payment with an expense, check, or bill, depending on how you paid them. Note that this transaction by itself does not move money from your bank account to the contractor or employee. Also, when you record the payment, it's important not to include the project in the customer project field. That's because if you already recorded the time separately for the project, the cost will appear twice on some job costing reports. If you use QuickBooks Payroll, run Payroll here like normal. Go to Payroll and select Run Payroll. QuickBooks automatically enters the number of hours recorded for each employee. Select Preview Payroll. Check if the information is correct and then select Submit Payroll. Now you're ready to record time spent completing projects and pay the people who worked for you.